Hey, it's time to talk about the iPhone. It's been a couple of months since I posted a video about Apple's upcoming smartphone lineup. And since we are exactly one month away, it is time to sum up everything that we need to know about Cupertino's most important and valuable product line. I have divided this video into five different segments. Design and display changes, cameras, performance improvements, battery and connectivity, and finally release date and price. Without further ado, let's talk. But first, please share with me in the comments section below. Are you planning to buy one of iPhone 15 models? And if you do, which one would that be? Hi friends and welcome to Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of latest Apple news, leaked information, tech rumors and product reviews. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. This one is powered by Banks. I had an opportunity to test Infinity Pro Stand and to try out their Urban Pro case with a keyboard and a trackpad. I gotta say I was pleased with these products and not long ago I got my hands on two more of their accessories. Ultra high quality Invisiboost Max a wireless charger with hydrogel cooling and kickstand as well as Infinity Max stand for MacBook or any other laptop. Their products are well crafted with sophisticated design. Check out the link in the description and in pinned comment. Use digital marketing 15 code and get 15% off. Now let's go. We've been listening for some time how Cupertino Giant is planning more obvious visual changes to their main product. While the sizes of display may get minimal increase, and all four variants now having dynamic island, the bezels will become around 30% slimmer than the one in the existing variants, like 1.5mm of thickness thanks to the implementation of low injection pressure overfolding technology, first time utilized on Apple Watch Generation 7. The frames, at least on professional models, are expected to feature titanium construction. Sadly, without solid state buttons on side as we were led to believe initially. While at the back, there will be slight curvature, which will definitely make devices more comfortable to hold, regardless of potentially bigger camera bump. Speaking about cameras, according to various sources, we've heard that both Pro and Non Pro editions will receive an upgrade starting from the fact that all models will have 48 megapixel main shooter. But surprisingly, this time, only regular iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus will get the latest the Sony sensor, and if we are to trust leaked information, should be a step up comparable to the one on iPhone 14 Pro lineup, which iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max will inherit. Does that necessarily mean that this year's non-pros will offer better camera overall? Not quite, since there are other factors involved too, especially if we take a look at the iPhone 15 Pro Max and rumored periscope lens. From facing shooters, till now remain a mystery, although some earlier claims were suggesting dual front-facing system, but that was for alleged ultra model which is not coming yet. Perhaps something like center stage camera but sharper than the one on the iPad? Performance-wise, there will be considerable jump, namely on Pro models since so-called A17 should be Apple's first 3 nanometer chip with better performance and improved energy efficiency, depending will it use more advanced N3B mode or N3E which is with lower transistor density. If we look at the speed, we can anticipate up to 10% increase in CPU frequency while GPU based on some earlier comparisons could reach around 20% of difference or more. Non-pro variants on the other end will have to settle with previous year's chip. A16, which is without a doubt still processor to beat, comparable to anything that competition has offered so far. It's no secret that Apple's latest iterations of the iPhone have been much better than earlier generation, and the iPhone 14 Pro Max has been in top 10 smartphones with impressive battery life. Therefore, it's easy to assume that its successor will bring more in that field, regardless if the chip made in 3 nanometers nodes should also make the difference. Though there has been complaints about much faster degradations of the battery comparable to iPhone 13 lineup, current gen overall has been proven as the good one. 
with iPhone 15 lineup on our radars, there have been speculations mentioning stacked battery technology. Words from one of Twitter's, or should I say Twixer's, RG Cloud S. Although he is still uncertain, will this be iPhone 15 or iPhone 16 thing? However, the most important upgrade with this year's lineup will be switched to USB-C as it has been in the news for the last two years. And while there have been claims of Apple intentionally putting some limitations for third-party cables it is still a huge jump from the obsolete lightning connector. As we all know, September is always designated as the release month for Cupertino smartphones, if we exclude SE variants, of course. If we are to trust some predictions, iPhone 15 lineup could be introduced already on September 13. We know that the upcoming generation will likely be more expensive, especially the Pro editions, 100 or maybe 200 bucks, and these numbers are just blindly dropped. It doesn't make a difference, some of you will definitely prepare your wallets. But the bigger question is, should you wait for these beasts or it is still okay to settle with one of iPhone 14 versions? To be honest, and for me personally, buying iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus would be a waste of money, since you can get your hands on the iPhone 13 Pro and you'll get awesome piece of machinery for similar buck. But if you are interested in an pro iPhone of the next generation, I feel confident as far as Pro editions go, it's really up to you. But waiting for one more month, although there were some concerning news about potential delays, it is still not a lot of time. Therefore, to conclude, both iPhone 15 Pro and standard models are absolutely worth your patience. That's all, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, slap the thumbs up and turn on all notifications. Thank you so much for watching this The Marketing Channel. My name is Marco, talk to you soon, have an excellent day, bye.